Welcome to Inside the Deal. I'm Suzanne Stevens. Joining me today is John Briggs. John is a managing partner in the DC office of Axon, Veltrop, and Harkrider. Um, John, you recently were at Howry uh, for 35 years, 35 plus years, and just left recently for Axon uh, to build up the antitrust practice in the in the DC office. Um, I assume that has something to do with the new administration. How do you think the new administration is going to affect the, the type of work that law firms are doing? Big effect on the type of work that, that, that we do in antitrust, particularly also in intellectual property. First, transactions. A lot of transactions are going to be happening. Uh, distressed industries, automotive, banking, retailing, excess capacity, all kinds of things are going to be in front of the antitrust division. The antitrust division is committed to a strong antitrust enforcement. On the other hand, there's all this job loss happening in the economy, and the commission, the, uh, the administration, the antitrust division is going to be part of that process of dealing with job loss. A lot of conflict between stated antitrust goals, stated recovery goals. So it's going to be a very interesting time for antitrust, a very interesting time for me, a very interesting time for my firm. John, speaking of job losses, uh, law firms have not been immune um, to the, the losses. Um, but at the same time, we're seeing some growth in uh, boutique firms. Um, what's behind that trend? Small firms offer less management, less layers, less cost. Uh, there's just a lot there. The bigger firms have a huge overhead and it's hard for companies to tolerate all that in this kind of an economy. So that's one enormous factor. But I would, I would focus on expertise, experience, and efficiency as the three E's, the three big things. And because they are so focused uh, typically on a practice area or two, uh, do you think we'll see corporates turning to boutique firms in, in larger numbers? And if so, why? Well, I think they already are turning to them. Certainly at Axon Veltrop, the demand curve is very high. Uh, and they're turning to them for the, for the very reasons I stated. They're less expensive, they've got more expertise in particular markets, uh, in most cases, in many cases, and, and they get the job done. They get the job faster, they're more nimble, they're not a battleship, they're a destroyer, and they, they work. John, I, I should mention that, that Howry is doing quite well. You left voluntarily uh, for Axon because you wanted a, a new challenge. Indeed. But it is a very difficult market out there for the big law firms. Uh, how would you characterize it? Uh, bloody, uncertain. In the last few days, uh, one Washington law firm laid off 250 secretaries. There are a lot of lawyers in the wings behind that. Um, there are a lot of practice areas that just don't have any demand for them, and they're going to contribute to the pain that those firms suffer. And those firms are going to suffer even in their core areas as a result of the pain in their non-core areas. With that in mind, how difficult is it to shift your area of focus, to shift your practice uh, to better meet the demand that's out there in the marketplace? And do you think we'll see firms doing that? Firms for sure are trying to do that already. I think it's going to be easier for the boutique firms, the small firms like Axe and Veltrop, to build the expertise they already have than for the firms without an expertise to find a new expertise. But there always are, in a down market, many good people available for hire, and they'll be found by firms that need them. And the areas are certainly antitrust, uh, restructuring, bankruptcy. Those are three uh, areas of growth, I those would Those are guess. the three biggest areas of growth, and I would add intellectual property as probably a fourth. John Briggs with Axon Veltrop, thanks so much for coming in. Thank you for having me. And thanks for watching Inside the Deal. I'm Suzanne Stevens.